Okay, guys, you already know how this goes. My mother was a prostitute. My father was a pimp. I bet I got your attention now. And y'all speaking to a specific crowd right now. If you know that you were, so I'm out here in Jamaica right now, by the way. I'm out in Jamaica, right? And I'm gonna tell you why I'm here and I'm gonna tell you why I'm doing this video right now. Right? I'm here with my beautiful wife, right? Check this out. I'm talking to everybody who's a sinner. There's no shame here. Ain't nobody shaming you. Ain't nobody pointing the finger. God loves you just who you are. I don't care if you're high. I don't care if you're drinking. I don't care if you're smoking. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're in the middle of prostitution. I don't care what you're doing. The scripture says that the prostitutes are making it into the kingdom of heaven before the saints are. Come on now. Somebody better read their Bible. I, be, I, always, I always ask myself, what Bible are these people reading? What Bible are these people reading? What Bible are these people reading? All right, check this out. You know you need to give God praise. And what you're waiting for is for your life to get in order. And you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be doing that. The scripture says that God has given us over to disobedience. Whoo, what does that mean? He's given us over to disobedience. We can't avoid it. We can't avoid being disobedient. And then, and then when we're trying to be as righteous as we want to be, the scripture says our most righteous acts are like filthy rags in the sight of God. Compared to God's sight and his mind and his, and his being and his purity and his love and his perfection. In, in comparison to that, our most righteous acts are like filthy rags. That means if you've seen an old lady fall on the ground and you picked her up, that's like filthy rags in the eyes of God. If you donated a million dollars to a, to a poor and starving com co uh, country, that means your most righteous act is like filthy rags. I don't care if you, if you, if you gave your life up. For somebody, your most righteous act is like filthy rags in comparison to how pure and perfect and loving and just and merciful Jesus Christ is, that God is. So I'm telling you right now, you're waiting on the wrong reasons. you waiting to give, um, you waiting before you give God praise. I'm telling you, give God praise right here, right now where you're at. Why? Because you know that you were supposed to die. You know that you almost died as a child. You know that God has saved you and God has preserved you and God has protected you. The times that you could have died in the car accident or in the drinking and driving incident or whatever the situation is, you know that you need to give God praise. Just the other day I was home, back home where I'm born and raised, uh, Worcester, Massachusetts. I seen a whole bunch of people that I knew. I seen people who I loved growing up. I seen people who are my enemies growing up. And individuals as grown folks had were able to come up to each other, give each other hug, give each other love and respect and say, I'm proud of you and, I, and I'm happy for where you're at in life and I'm telling you something right now that type of change is necessary in our world where we're not judging individuals but we're welcoming them into the kingdom of God and I'm telling you right now I'm not trying to be Christian for free I'm not trying to be super religious right now I'm telling you you need to give God praise because you know you were supposed to be dead God spared you for some reason and if he spared you for a reason it's for a purpose and so yeah I'm out here in Jamaica right now and I'm living my best life I'm with my my bride my queen you know what I'm saying and so we out here living, we having a good time in Jamaica, and, I, and I'm giving God praise, and I'm giving God glory, and I didn't wait until I got to Jamaica to stop praising him. I'm just telling you now, I didn't wait until things got better in my life before I started praising him. I didn't do that. Give God praise right here, right now. Even though that you're not in the right place, give him glory. I don't care if you high right now, give him praise. I don't care if you're drinking or smoking, give him praise. You know, and God says, I, the, the, the scripture says that man looks at the outward appearance. God looks at the heart of a man. God looks at the heart of a man. And so I'm telling you right now, give God praise. Hallelujah. I give you praise, Father, right here, right now. Hallelujah. I glorify you right here, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God is not waiting for you to become perfect or to get it right before he welcomes you with open arms and before he expects to hear your praise. So give God praise. Say, God, I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father, for saving my life. I thank you, Father, for sparing me. I know there are so many others who, who they died or they fell at the wayside or this happened to them or that happened to them. Or whatever. But for whatever reason, I'm still here. For whatever reason, I'm still alive. For whatever reason, my heart is still pumping. I have breath in my lungs. And if I have breath in my lungs, I must be here for a purpose. And if you save my life and if you redeemed me for a purpose, then Father God, fulfill your purpose in me. God accepts you for who you are right here, right now, exactly for who you are. He don't care what you've done. He don't care what you've done. He don't care what you've done. He died. The perfect sacrifice, a person with no sin at all, died so that all you have to do is say, I believe in you and I give you praise and I give you thanks. I don't care what anybody says. The Bible says, what is it, Romans 10, 9? The Bible says that if you confess with your heart, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, that you will be saved. Come on. Come on. Come on. So don't wait. Don't hesitate. Get God glory. Look at this beautiful place. I don't want to fall off these rocks I'm standing on. Look at this beautiful, 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 beautiful place. By the graces. God created all of this. Come on, man. I give you glory, Father. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I give you glory. Hallelujah.